What's up, my pilots? Angry Poncho here. This is a little world I titled Oceana. It's the seed for 333. And uh, that's the seed for this world. It's just kind of... You better walk away. Any world seed with a lot of threes in it is going to generate a world with quite a bit of ocean. So if you're looking for an oceanic world, there's a way to go lots of threes in your seed name. You'll get a nice little ocean world. I really, I really just want to build a really tall tower on this island, just to see what there is to see. But I'm getting a little bit distracted here. The The reason I'm making this video is to come to you guys. Uh, I've sort of exhausted all my options right now, and as far as the server goes. And so I'm turning the, to the community now to provide a solution for us. Uh, essentially, with the internet set up in my dorm, I simply don't have access to what I need to have access to in order to run a server. It's just not possible from my location. Uh, the, the, the external ISP, uh, basically the Ethernet from my dorm simply won't let in outside connections and I'm not in control of the ports that can control the entire dorm system. So I, I have no way to, to get it put through. And I talked to a friend of mine who works for the IT group and he told me that there's just there's no appeal or anything. There's nothing I can do about it. They 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 don't let it go through because it prevents malicious hacking attempts. So essentially, uh, I got nothing as far as a server is concerned. Now there are two there are two options here. Uh, the one, which is the preferred of the two that I'm going to say, is that someone from my viewership or someone uh, from the general Minecraft community who's willing to step forward and run a server uh, on my behalf. And basically the the idea here would be that someone else run the server, I direct traffic to it, and essentially it's a team effort where I get as many people as possible interested in the server and you know looking forward to building on it and building with me. And in exchange, someone out in the community actually runs the server from their machine because I'm unable to. So if, if you're willing to do that and you have a PC that you think can handle, you know, 16, 20 players at once, and an internet, internet connection that's that good as well, leave me, leave me a message in the comments or send me a personal message if you're uh, legitimately interested in, in doing that for uh, the pilots here. So uh, that's basically how it would go. And, I, and I, I would be willing to work with some restrictions if anybody was going to run a server. Of course it would be uh, up to you when the uptime hours would be, and it would, it would be convenient uh, for your time zone. But I would want whoever it would be to at least attempt to accommodate people as much as possible. It's getting dark out here. That kind of blows. Anyway, I, I wonder what the uh, oculant ambulant lighting, whatever it's called, looks like at night. So I don't mind if I'm running around getting shot at. What's? Yeah, it's on hard. <laughs> this should be fun. So basically, and I, I would also, uh, whoa, shoot, he got me by surprise, didn't he? You see that mouse movement? <laughs> that was me shitting myself with fear. Oh, the skeletons, they still get me more than anything else, it's because they're loud. Like, creepers don't even bother me, they may be mad after they blow me up, but skeletons scare me while they're, like, chasing me with arrows and stuff. So if anyone were willing to host a server, leave me a comment, and I will give you, like, exclusive rights to, you know, say, hey, this is the this is the Poncho's Pilot server here. This is the legit shit. I also would uh, only build on your server, or on that, you know, our server, I suppose. And I'd also feature it in a video, as well as your YouTube username, quite prominently, if you were interested in that, if you have an account. I presume so. The second option is that there's this site called, uh... Hello, what? What just happened? Whoa, I just lost Minecraft. Minecraft just crashed. I hit the ground so hard I broke the game. Damn. Anyway, I'm just going to exit and keep talking here. The Java platform failed. That's strange. Well, I haven't seen that happen for a long time. That happened on my old PC a couple of times, but never on this one. Now, uh, basically, this... Uh, let's go to Ticket. It might be daytime there. <laughs> This is a world I made uh, from the spawn word. I think it was 404. Yeah, this was 404. That's that's the seed. And I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show you what this what this world has to offer here. 
another another pretty wide ocean. But uh, the second option is there's this website called artofwarcentral.com that I was directed to by uh, some friends of uh, SX Greed. I went to a server he recommended to me. I talked to the guys there, and, and the way this server this is basically a server service where essentially uh, you pay this this web domain a certain amount of money per month, and they host a server for you. You're in complete control of whatever mods are on it, whatever the rules of the server are, you're the admin, etc., etc., but they provide essentially the storage space for the server to run through, as well as the bandwidth for you to have everyone connect. And you pay per the person per month. So basically, you, you decide whatever the max number of players you want to be, uh, whatever you want your maximum players to be, and that determines your cost per month uh, of them running the server for you. So that's another option that we could look at look at as a community. If you guys want to go to that website and check it out yourself, it's, uh, it's an interesting option. Anyway, with 404, there's a gravel pit over here, and it, normally it's all flat and stuck up here. If you dig through in one spot, you'll cause it all to fall like that. And so you actually can make it all of this fall at once. It's kind of neat. Just come over here and find a little 2x2 two two pit and scratch into it and fun things will happen. So that site, I think it's it's like $25 a month to have a server that can only have six people on at a time. If you go up to like 16 people, maybe 20, I think it's like 20 people on at any given point, it's like $65 a month. And I think if you get a yearly plan, if you like oh, go ahead and sign up for a whole year, you get like three months out of the year free. So you save like 25%, which is pretty good. So if we wanted to, as a community, like set up a PayPal account to direct things fun, and there's actually a, a donation option on there as well. So if no one volunteers to to run a server for the community for the pilots, the pilot server, then that will be our our second option. If there's a general interest in uh, each user wanting to pay maybe three bucks a month to so just, just so we can afford it. But uh, I apologize for not being able to make this easy on you guys, but I, I just there's really just no way that I can run a server myself. And I'm a bit disappointed about it myself. Uh, the, actually, the, I, I technically can run a server, but the only people who can, can connect to it are people who are on the internet in my dorm. Because <laughs> it's all the same network, and they automatically get access. So uh, if you're willing to work with me on running a server, you can leave a comment, or send me a personal message, here on YouTube. And if you know anything else, uh, any other options, I'm not interested in doing a homogeny server because that just provides way too much access to, into other people's personal files, and I don't, I don't want that. I don't want to put anybody at risk with my server, particularly myself. So hey, pumpkins. So no to that. But the other two options are still open. There's artofwarcentral.com and someone else volunteering to run a server for us. So uh, if you know someone who might be willing to do this, talk to them. If you're willing to do it yourself, uh, please let me know. I wouldn't expect a whole lot of someone who uh, ran a server for us, just that they have the server up at a consistent, you know, times during the week, you know, certain days from certain hours, just generally be consistent about it and be a bit mature about the way it's run. Uh, that and making an admin, which would be kind of nice. <laughs> but uh, other than that, that's really all I wanted to talk about in this video. I'm just, I wanted to show off a couple seed worlds, so I figure I already showed off uh, Poncho. We, we all did that seed, and thank you for those of you who in, sent in video responses. I watched all of them all the way through. And I gotta say, that was that was really cool. I, I've never asked for video responses before, and that I got six of them so far, and it's only been a couple days, so I'm pretty excited about that actually. That that was neat. I, I really enjoyed uh, seeing you guys in the way that the way that you run around, the way that you play Minecraft, as well as getting a sort of an interactive response from the uh, the community here. Shouldn't that water be flowing over the edge? Oh, there it goes. Interesting. So yeah, that was neat to get kind of a, a two-way conversation going with you guys. I was really pleased with the response on that. So thanks again to those of you who sent in a video response. If you haven't uh, put one up yet, the video is still there and I'm still accepting them. Uh, I'd be happy to watch through your video through. Uh, but that's about it. So we've shut off the poncho seed. We've also shown off the... Uh, this is 404 here with the gravel pit. And I showed off 333, which is the ocean world. There are some other ones that I'll be showing off eventually, but I'll wait until there's something else for me to talk about so I can do two birds with one stone. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Let's Walk Around and Talk to People While on Minecraft. See you then. Oh, and if you know any really good seeds, leave a suggestion in the comments, but, you know, just if you see your seed already suggested, don't uh, post it yourself, just thumb up their comment.
talk to you later. Stay cool, Negroes. Rock on with your bad self. Fly high, my pilots! I have like eight different outros now. <laughs>